Good afternoon from Disney's Blizzard Beach. I did want to give you guys like a little bit of a warning. If you're coming to Walt Disney World, be sure to check the times that a park is open in the My Disney Experience app because I tried to go to Typhoon Lagoon today and it is closed. It's open yesterday when it was a little bit cooler and rainy. Today it's like 70 and breezy and uh, it's closed. But Blizzard Beach has been open both days. I don't know, just check the My Disney Experience app and just make sure that everything is good to go before going to your destination. Let's head in and have a good time. Hopefully it won't be too cold. But as far as good news goes, because the weather's a little bit cooler, there's basically nobody in this park. Just passing by a Blizzard Beach Press Penny Machine and I wanted to show you guys the designs available at this Press Penny Machine. Also for $50, they have this Blizzard Beach quote unquote spirit jersey. It's not really a spirit jersey because it's just one of those like UPF ultraviolet protection factor shirts, like a swim shirt, very thin material. So they got two different designs. They got the Mickey one and then they have the mini one. I'm really liking that Disney is starting to use this style of Mickey more and more from the Mickey shorts and mini from the Mickey shorts too. So that press penny machine and all the shirts that I just showed you are inside of Beach House here. Something else that I wanted to show you guys inside of Beach House is this is where the fuel rod location is. Right here as soon as you come inside. Over here at the sign that we see when we first come in, they do have all of the different wait times. Everything right now, less than 15 minutes. This is something that I think is very strange because the park is open from 10 until five today. But like this cooling hut is open from 9.30 to 5.30. This one's from 12, Freddy's Frostbite, Frostbite Freddy's is from 12 to 4.30. It's very strange that they have different times for the different food places. Something that's not running today is the ski lift, which would take you up to the top of the mountain for these slides up here. You can just walk up there though. So that's what we will be doing today. And the only reason that I can think of that these aren't running today is because it's slightly breezy. Like occasionally a pretty strong breeze will blow through, but not right now. So you can't really tell that it's breezy out. There are a few things that are still closed like this Arctic Expeditions thing is closed right now. I don't really know why. I guess Avalanche is closed too? Maybe that'll be opening up later. It looks like they're getting ready to open it up later. Just to give you guys an idea of how busy it is today, here's the Lazy River. Even the wave pool is pretty darn empty right now. So I have a feeling it's gonna be a very slow day here at Blizzard Beach. It's actually very nice in the sun. Once we get into the shade, it starts to get a little bit cool, but let's go get our bathing suits on and get the GoPro and Right on some slides. Switching over to the GoPro right now. Now that we've got the GoPro, I think the best bet is to just start off in one of these over here. Maybe one of these mat slides or one of these tube slides. These back here, number 12, that's where we're gonna go. What is that called? Runoff Rapids. That's where we're gonna start. Get us used to the water, sort of, and just get it going. First stop, picking up a tube. Then we go up a bajillion stairs. Here we go, Runoff Rapids. And the stairs for the day begin. Also, as a side note, my feet are still not tan at all. So I hope you guys are ready to see them. Now that we're at the top, you can see that's Expedition Everest. This like bright green spot here is Tree of Life. Just on the other side of these trees here is Pandora. <gasps> okay, here we go. Okay, Bye. Whoa! Whee! Whoa, this water is so cold. All right, here we go. Ah, this is actually very relaxing. This is much enjoyable. Are very enjoyable. Whee! Oh, what a good way to start the day. Wow. Whee! Oh, it's starting to pick up a little bit. Oh no, some rabbit. Oh, oh, it's splashing me. Oh, it's so cold. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Okay. Now I'm extremely cold. Oh, all right. Here we go. Oh, we're getting some speed. Some, oh, more rabbits. Oh, oh gosh. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh. Okay, we're a little bit wet and cold, but we did it. Okay, it's uh, it's gonna be a very chilly day. Wow, that breeze is not helping. All right, let's go get on maybe the mat slides or something. The stairs are definitely gonna help though because it's a lot of climbing to the top of the hill to go down on a water slide. So you get warmed up going up the stairs and then you get cold going down the slide. Up to the purple slope, we're gonna do the snowstormers or the toboggan racers. I can't remember which one's more fun. I think the toboggan racers is more fun because it's like, like back and forth curvy. Less than 15 minutes for all of them. Oh yes, there's literally nobody up here. I'm just gonna race myself. This is gonna be amazing. Here we go. Whee! Whoa! Yeah. Oh, this is the best. Whoa! Oh, I love this ride. Whoa! 
Awesome. Now let's head up and do the straight down one. So I'm 99% sure we just did toboggan racers. Now we're gonna go do snowstormers. Still nobody really up here. Nobody on this side. Just a couple of people over here. On your mark. Get set. Go. Here we go. Whoa. 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 Come on. I could honestly ride those two all day, but now it's time for the downhill double dipper. Here we go. Whoa! -ho -ho! Whoa! Whoa! Holy macaroni. Let's head into the lazy river and make our way around. I think the lazy river is warmer too, so that'll help us warm up. All right, here we are in the lazy river. It seems like all the trees have been losing their leaves. They do skim this every day, but the trees are still losing their leaves because it is a little bit windy today. So they would have to be in here all day long skimming it. The good news is, is that it is a little bit warmer in here. It's still slightly cold, but it's warmer than the, the slides are. So I like this better than the slides for sure. If I can give you any bit of advice for the lazy river on a cooler day, stay towards the outside because there are jets that are coming straight off the heater. So it's nice and warm on the outside. And then the inside, it's still cold or colder still not cold but it's colder so once you find a nice warm jet mm, it's nice then it gets cold again maybe this is a bad idea here it is oh oh no those weren't warm what the heck i think i figured out why the entire lazy river is not warm and i think that's because only some of the jets put out the heated water so <laughs> all the jets that i told or that i've hit since i told you guys to go towards the jets have been cold the sun went away and now it is very cold so i think i'm going to try to get at least two more slides in and then I might have to just call it a day because it is a very cold out now. I don't think I can go on Team Boat Springs today because you need like a full family to do that. But I can do Summit Plummet and Slush and Gusher. Well, I guess Typhoon Lagoon had the weather prediction on lock. What the heck? Well, this is interesting. We can see Tower of Terror over there. Right there is Star Wars Land, Galaxy's Edge. Yeah, all kinds of other stuff. That's a wide world of sports over yonder. So here we go. Yeah. Whoa! Oh goodness! Oh gosh! Oh! 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 gosh! That was exciting. I caught some air off that last little hump. Let's go do the big one now. Summit plummet. I feel like there are times that I probably shouldn't complain about the cold weather, but this is not one of them because I'm soaking wet. Sun's gone. It's windy. It is uh, dropping real fast. Got a view of Hollywood Studios, Epcot, Swan and Dolphin. What else? Oh, right there is Magic Kingdom. I can see contemporary and everything. And then Animal Kingdom over here. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, 40 miles an hour summit plummet makes me hurt like it there's and it just hurts it's a very painful slide my legs are all itchy my back is all itchy from just like skipping down the slide painful i did go 40 miles an hour though let's check the temperature of the wave pool oh it feels good okay it's pretty warm inside the wave pool still not like bath water warm but definitely warmer than the air is oh that feels good i just had to do a little bit of warming up before going and getting my towel and then maybe getting like a cup of coffee or something warm because it got really cold I mean, relatively really cold like the sun was shining earlier and it was nice but now that the sun's gone it's uh not as nice as it was like not really a water park day more like today would be the perfect day to be at the theme parks but i was really like kind of wanting to go to a water park today so i did I think it was a bad move. Okay, going in the wave pool was a bad idea because the wave pool is warm. It's cold outside. Now I feel even colder. Really going to get the towel now. Figures it's just my luck. As soon as I get changed, the sun starts to come back out. Before we leave, I wanted to check into Lottawada Lodge. Lottawada Lodge, it's kind of fun to say. To see if they have anything interesting to eat. Look at this. There is a gigantic vegan section 
here at Typhoon Lagoon. Should I try that pizza? Whoa. Maybe I want that bratwurst sandwich though. That actually sounds really good. So here's what I got. I got the vegetarian bratwurst. I think it actually might be vegan. And then it came with fries, which I don't know if these are vegan or not. They should be. They should have just been fried in like vegetable oil because that's the cheapest thing available. Um, but the bratwurst is, it's under there somewhere. This is a Beyond Bratwurst. And I've had one of these before at Magic Kingdom and it was delicious, so I'm excited to have it again. Also, you can see this one french fry right here. I did bite and this flavoring on here is delicious. Let's try this bratwurst. It's on like a pretzel bun here. Didn't really get a bite of it. The sauerkraut is cold. Uh, no, it was the peppers that were cold. Here we go, let's give it a try. That's good. That's really good. I wish it was a little bit more done, like cooked for a little bit longer, but it's delicious. If you are looking to try something a little bit more adventurous and you want to try something vegetarian, go for the bratwurst. The Beyond Bratwurst is really good. If you're wondering what the inside of the Beyond Bratwurst looks like, there it is. It doesn't look anything like a real bratwurst, but it's definitely delicious. And it does taste sort of like a real bratwurst. Oh, I should probably show you guys. It's lunchtime and uh, there's a lot of open tables available. Now this may seem like a very strange thing to say about food at Disney, but normally they give you too much food. Like when you pay $9 or $10, normally they'd give you way too much food, a giant burger or something like that. But getting the bratwurst and the french fries, it was like a sensible size, a sensible portion of french fries, a sensible portion of bratwurst, and it was delicious. So I do think that if you come out here to Typhoon Lagoon, you should give it a try. Definitely, or even if you're going into out in Fantasyland at the Friar's Nook, they also have this bratwurst. It's delicious. I highly suggest it. They just started up the chairlift. I don't know if they're gonna let people on it today. There is a line waiting to get on, so maybe they will. I came around to the back of Blizzard Beach. Look at this. There's an entire section back here. Because there's basically nobody in the park anyways, but there's an entire section back here where you could come here first thing in the morning Get a nice secluded spot, super quiet back here, and just relax. There's another spot back here. That one that we just looked at had one set of like towels. One person had gone back there and set up. This one's got nobody. Nobody has taken any of these chairs back here at all. Here's the last thing that I wanted to show you guys because I totally didn't notice when we rode this. This is Runoff Rapids. The last time we were here, and we'll put a video down in the description down below, there were only two slides open. Now, all three are open. I wonder what they did. This one looks like it's older than this slide over here. Maybe they replaced all of that slide. You never know. It does look very nice though. Oh, by the way, the uh, sun went away again. I hope that these clouds just leave by tomorrow because I don't like this. Not fun at all. So even though the weather didn't cooperate with us today, I thought it was gonna be a beautiful day. It kind of turned out to be a half and half, like half beautiful, half super cold, windy, and cloudy. But I feel like we're heading out of whatever it was that was around us that was keeping the weather down and we're heading into sunshine and happiness so water park season right around the corner i'm gonna say it already started the water park season is here water parks are always fun and today was no exception so with that being said we are off we'll see you guys tomorrow and now it's time to pay the price <laughs>